It's up, up and away from Eastern West Virginia Regional Airport in Martinsburg, West Virginia. But in the planes flown here, you could fit six Greyhound buses inside them. Hi, I'm Greg Larry for HampshireReview.com. Also known as Shepherd Field, the airport, shared by the public, is also the home to the 167th Airlift Wing of West Virginia's Air National Guard. The Air Force has made the facility a dedicated hub for the military's gigantic cargo hauling C-5 airplanes. Myself, along with reporter Don Kessner, recently received a tour of the facility from Senior Master Sergeant and Flight Engineer Stephen R. McDonald, who was born in Romney and now resides in Levels, West Virginia. McDonald, along with Lieutenant Nathan Mueller, who grew up in the Paw Paw area, let us get an up-close look at the enormous C-5s. The huge planes dwarf the trucks and cars that transport the various staff members to and from the planes. To their missions, or no, we, you know, we have what do we have now? We have 33 flight engineers. Um, you know, we take turns. You know, the typical crew is three pilots, two engineers. And, and three low masters. But like I say, we'll all get alerted. We'll get a phone call, hey, show up. We'll show up here, we'll have a crew brief, and then, of course, the engineers will go out and pre-flight the airplane and the pilots will do the flight planning. And like you say, we, we have no cargo here. We always have to go somewhere else and get our cargo. We've got a really heavy cargo load that has to go, and then we can't take enough fuel, so we either have to stop somewhere or else hit a tanker into the area we The enormous planes found a home at Shepherd Field thanks to the help of, among others, the late Senator Robert C. Byrd. Their efforts helped, with some remodeling, to turn the airport into an inspection and maintenance center for the C-5s from all over the eastern United States and more. In the process, the C-5 hub has also helped to bring millions of dollars of income into the economy of Martinsburg and the surrounding area. The airfield is currently receiving updates so it can better handle the C-5 traffic. So you can have you know, anywhere from 10 to 12 C-5s here at any one time, huh? Yeah, we have enough room to park 11 of them. Now, as you see here, this is how the front, the visor opens up. And then this ramp, this ramp will extend out so we can just load cargo. And there's where you load in at, right there. The front, and the back also opens up. And there we're looking at the front area of the plane to access for loading. And that right there is your ramp and that just sets down, doesn't right. it? Right, and the airplane also kneels. It's able to kneel. 28 and a half inches, we can squat it down and put it lower to the ground. And then you can put the ramps out front and back and drive on and drive off. Take an 18 wheeler and just drive it right through there. McDonald, who is one of the top authorities on C5 operations, took us up the long staircase that leads to the spacious cargo area. Wow. We keep it dark on purpose because we have these detectors around here. Look for flame. In case we should have a fire, something that would flame up, these detectors would sense it, and give us a warning, and we'd put some fire extinguisher in here. We can flood this bay of fire extinguisher if we have to. When you get up in here, you really just see how expansive this thing is. It really is a warehouse of wings. <laughs> yeah. The planes transport tanks, helicopters, all types of armored personnel vehicles, as well as tons of supplies. They even have a seating area similar to a commercial plane in the upper rear section that can seat 75 passengers as well. Lieutenant, do you haul the helicopters? Uh... Helicopters, tanks, uh... MRAPs, which are the big armored vehicles, uh, Humvees, 
A lot of times we'll have pallets in here. It can hold 36 pallets. And the next time you think about your gas mileage, you'll feel better when you realize that a C5 burns 25,000 pounds of fuel per hour. When they are totally packed with cargo, it can go higher. The C5 can weigh as much as a million tons fully loaded. The cockpit of the C5 is impressive as well, especially when you consider you are looking at 1968 technology. The military is currently looking into producing a newer updated version of the cargo hauling aircraft. We also got a tour of what the staff refers to as the ISO hangar. This is where the C5s are parked in order to receive their maintenance and inspections. This here is our ISO hangar. You see all the stands around there where they do the overhaul. That way you can walk all around the tail section. We can drive over there. Thanks to Master Sergeant McDonald and Lieutenant Mueller, as well as the rest of the crew at Shepherd Field, for the tour. The only thing more impressive than the C-5s was the professionalism of our military personnel who work hard to keep our country great and safe. I'm Greg Larry, reporting for HampshireReview.com.